one. Hey guys, uh, we went to Home Depot today. We had to buy some more nuts because we added uh, some more plates to our generator. It now has 54 plates. And uh, we bought this little cheapy piece to go on our expensive piece that that place sent us. That thing will go on there, this thing will go on there. And we got their, our end cap. And we'll probably just glue this guy on the top and that'll have our pressure gauge and our output. But uh, we want to try and turn this thing on. We have the electrolyte in there, Jack and um, Art and Denny. And uh, it seems to make quite a difference. I've got it hooked up to my battery jumper. One of these three-in-one jobbies. But here we go, on. Not too shabby. Look at that thing go. I guess our I guess our next step is to start capturing it and measuring how much we get. You get a flow meter. Maybe you guys got one out there. I need to buy one. It's got the little ball floats in the glass. But that's pretty cool. The electrolyte seems to work. It worked a lot better with the electrolyte in. Very effectively. We did one teaspoon per liter. And I'm almost thinking, you guys, that these plates are too close together. We had to put plastic shims between each one of them. I mean, it is close. The uh, width of the metal is 048.048, and the gap is 0.045. It, it varies, but it's like a bath. See how it holds water, even? I think that, that's an interesting experiment. They're so close together. <laughs> so we're thinking about getting a different size nut. Well, we got to buy stainless steel anyway, but get a little uh, thicker one. And that'll give us more leeway in our plates. It'll increase the length of it a little bit, but I think it'll be all right. So there it is. We'll finish. Four plates. <laughs> Fifty-four. That's five times more than uh, our tubes, by the way, surface area-wise. Yeah, surface area is five times more.